So we are live now. Good morning, everybody. Uh, let me uh, welcome my colleagues Cesar and Kamal for the last fireside chat in 2023. Unfortunately, our guest Basil had a sudden bereavement, so he cannot attend himself. We would like to take this opportunity to express our condolences to him. Our colleague Kamal will do his best to support us here and explain the procedures, procedures the customer takes. So please, Azar and Kamal, it's your show now. Take, take Thank the you, Lynette. Thanks, Lynette. Thank you, Lynette, and welcome everyone to our last fireside session of 2023. <clears throat> this session was specifically organized with our guest speaker from Saudi Electricity Company, but unfortunately due to certain demise of a family member, he was not able to attend and we pass on our condolences and hopefully he can join us in the future to share his knowledge. So I'll still let you know, uh, Engineer Basel from Saudi Electricity Company is uh, working as an uh, engineering application group leader. He's very well experienced in microstation. He has implemented microstation throughout his team and one of the most knowledgeable person who's we could have brought in to discuss about his user story about how they have implemented successfully and how they use it. So, but yeah, we have his, uh, no, whatever details he has shared, we would like to share that with you in the future. But right now, uh, let me first introduce my colleague, Kamal Bacha. He's a senior application engineer at Bentley System. Kamal is at base at Al Khobar office and he's working with the industry owner operators, design com uh, in consultants, implementing the best software solutions. And I'm Azhar Wasim, I'm the product consultant for MicroStation. I'm based out of Dubai office, and I also have experience working with majority of the owner operators in helping them implement certain CAT standards and the CAT applications. So proceeding further, now since uh, uh, Engineer Basel is not with us, I think Kamal, mm -hmm. could you please take this opportunity to at least tell us what SEC does, what they are, and they are, a little bit about the company. Sure, Azhar. Thank you, Nanad. Thank you, Azhar. So Saudi Electricity Company uh, plays a critical role in ensuring uh, the kingdom's energy supply, serving as the primary source of electricity. The company uh, undertakes the production, transmission, and distribution of electricity through an extensive network that spans across all regions of the country. So one of the subsidiaries of the Saudi Electricity Company, known as the Saudi Energy Production Company, is responsible for the production of electrical energy through 41 power production plants spread across the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And the National Grid Company is another subsidiary of Saudi Electricity Company is responsible of the transmission of power throughout the kingdom and currently operates an interconnected network spanning over uh, 92,500 circular kilometers covering more than 13,000 locations in the kingdom. And there is another subsidiary company known as South SE Project Development Company, which is dedicated to managing the construction projects, executing the detailed engineering designs and procuring uh, materials and equipment and implementing uh, energy projects. Uh, I hope I have uh, just provided some insights about the uh, South Electricity Company. No. Thank you, Kamal. Thank you for the brief. So, Kamal, I mean, if you remember in the initial meeting with South Electricity Company, like they said, right, yeah. they were... Initially, they used to have this big line diagrams within a big room and whenever there's a maintenance that needs to be carried out, they used to yeah. go manually search for the grid where the grid failure has happened. And then they mm -hmm. said they moved on to the Excel sheet where they were making the grid lines on the Excel sheets. And after that is when they found that importance of implementing of a certain CAD application that they could use it on the long term. And that is where the microstation came in because they wanted a CAD format that, you know, that doesn't change over a period of time. They wanted certain good value proposition. That is why I think they were one of the first few owner operators that implemented microstation. So you are providing mm -hmm. continuous support to Saudi Electricity Company. I know that you have continuous training sessions. You keep giving them demonstration what is new and how they can implement it in the workflows. So, I mean, uh, could you give us like a little bit of small, like a brief demonstration, especially on the, you know, operations and maintenance and where they're actually utilizing MicroStation? Sure, Azar, sure. I'd like to share it with you. So, uh, MicroStation actually it is utilized in all the departments of Saudi Electricity Company, and this includes the major departments such as energy production, 
transmission and distribution as well. And back in the year 2002, when I worked uh, as a resident engineer in Saudi Electricity Company, I had the opportunity to implement CAT standards for the operational and the distribution network, which are still in use for operations. And this helped robust utilization of MicroStation as a superior CAD uh, solution. Right. Let me quickly show you how it works. In this example, I have all the necessary equipment ready to be inserted into the distribution operation diagram as a cell library. And users need not worry about recreating the symbols. So they just need to click and insert into the drawing area. Uh, let me just focus over here. So as you can see here, uh, I'm just going to focus in this, uh, the middle part of the drawing. And I'm just going to insert two gas ring main unit with transformers in the same room. And then you can go for a double transformer substation with high voltage metering. And then an oil ring main unit with metered circuit breaker. And I'm also going to insert a 13.8 kV standard substation in it. All these are free cells. You just need to click and adjust the scale if you want. And we can easily identify whether uh, the equipment is for the gas or oil based on this symbology, actually. And this symbology represents uh, the transition from an overhead to an uh, underground network. So this helps the users not only in maintaining the consistency, but also minimizes the learning curve for anyone newly hired into the emergency operation division. And so I have one more example uh, that we have created a CAT standard for electrical distribution network. So let me show you how you can reduce your drafting time in it. So I can simply go and change the workflow in the geospatial uh, context and choose the closest Earth location through the geographic coordinate system. And then simply go to the uh, view attribute tool. You can enable the Bing map. So that now we can know the exact work uh, on the project to location. So this is Alcoba city from Saudi Arabia. So let me focus to the Riyadh city now. So I already created some captured some views. So I just need to click on the Riyadh city. And then I'm also going to uh, focus on the location where I want to place a substation. Okay. So once the location is defined, I can go and open the cell selector. So you can see that I'm going to the annotate tab and then there is a cell selector. And now I'm just going to choose the appropriate substation cell. Here I have chosen a six feeder GI substation. So while placing, you can rotate scale with the built-in commands. And then I'm going to place a line, which is 13.8 kV overhead line. So the designer need not worry of what color style level must be selected. And it is already assigned in the element template. So using the acute draw tip, you can just simply place it. Um, and I'm going, to, I'm going to also create a uh, place a low voltage cable in it. So let me place it. So in case the designer has chosen a different color that is against the CAT standards. So what happened is he has chosen the 13.8 kV overhead line. And let's change the color now, which is against the CAT standard. And now we can see it is in, in blue color. So I will just switch off uh, the background map so that we can exactly know what is the color. So MicroStation has the standard checker utility to automate the uh, quality check, actually. So using the standard checker, you can verify whether your CAT standards are consistent against the configuration and fix any errors 
if the designer has selected a wrong color font or uh, dimensions. You can see it will provide you a XML report and the drawing, the standard is also fixed actually. So I hope this is uh, beneficial. No, thank you, Kamal. So our yeah. people who are seeing this live, I mean, if you feel that Kamal is making it look too easy, it's actually easy. It's not a complicated solution that you need a lot of training to work or get to this expertise. It is actually a very simple solution that can be easily learned and can be used for drawing, I mean, delivering drawings as per SEC standards. Yeah. So, and people mm -hmm. who are joined us live, you can post your questions in the comments. We will try to answer as much as we can. So Kamal, uh, we have a question right now. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah, I understand because see, that there was certain tablet column, you were using certain cell elements which are already predefined. So the question is like, do they have a certain SCAT standard that like every, every contractor should follow with SEC? Because last session when we did with Aramco, there was Aramco SCAT standard that we really focused on. A lot of contractors got to know that they have a certain CAT standard that they need to implement in order to deliver drawing as per the Aramco standards. Does okay. SAC also have something like that or do they, so that we, they can yes. use some predefined options? Yes, they do, they do, yeah. Let me show you that. Uh, just give me a second. Okay. So you can see that Saudi Electricity Company has also implemented a uniform set of CAT standards in MicroStation known as SEEDS2, uh, which stands for Saudi Electricity Company Engineering Standards. The CAD standards are enforced for creating a new engineering drawing or the modified existing drawings. So as you can see, the added menu in the microstation and it has all the symbology required for architectural, civil, mechanical, electrical, etc. So yeah, uh, you can see that uh, the extracted uh, symbology for mechanical ducting over here, right? Okay, yeah. No, and here no. I have extracted the symbology for electrical switch controls as well. So there are separate border files for different discipline, line elements, fonts, cell libraries, color table. So it is mandatory for every contractor to submit the drawings in the DGN file format and ensure the compliance uh, with the seeds to standards as well. And okay. here I have yeah. extracted uh, the symbology for civil structural and road pavement uh, uh, marking as well. So these standards are designed to ensure the safety, reliability, and efficiency of electrical infrastructure and power generation and distribution systems in Saudi Arabia. That's it. And what about other CAD tools, Kamal? Does it, I mean, can they use seeds too for other CAD tools as well? Uh, there is no seeds to for other uh, CAD application, but uh, let me just explain to you a little bit more. Okay. So MicroStation actually supports a variety of uh, file formats. In this slide, you can see the supported file formats such as Real DWG, uh, Shape File, SketchUp File, RFA, IFC, OBG, and so on. And most of these uh, have different versions and format as well. So we have received many inquiries uh, regarding the process of saving the DWG file to the DGN file format uh, for the purpose of submitting drawings to the Saudi Electricity Company. So to address this, uh, we have recommended using the MicroStation batch convert utility and configuring a remapping file to ensure the compatibility and compliance with the seeds to uh, standards that is set by uh, Saudi Electricity Company. So if you require more detailed demonstration on this topic, uh, please feel free to uh, send your request and we can uh, then schedule a separate session to provide a comprehensive walkthrough and address any specific questions or concerns uh, if you may have, right? I'll yeah, just continue here. Conversion, and I think batch conversion was covered yeah. in one of our sessions previously where we did show them the same thing. So yeah. in case That's if they right. want, we can show that again. Yeah. Sure, definitely we can demonstrate, no problem. And um, if you have, uh, if your distribution network diagram is an S3 shape file format, you can seamlessly open it in MicroStation actually, as you can see in this slide. And uh, in this scenario, we have uh, successfully opened an S3 shape file and saved it to the DGN file format. Uh, now I would like to uh, search for a specific parcel number or a substation number to precisely locate it within the data. You can just go and search for a particular parcel number now. It's a huge drawing. Uh, we are able to convert them into a, uh, just save as to DGN file. And specifically, if you want to uh, locate in a small area, then you can just make a fence 
and then search it into the small location as well. So in this scenario, you can see that uh, you can also use the cleanup your uh, design file. So if you want to find out the duplicates or gaps or overlapping elements, so we have a design file cleanup tool and there's an utility over MicroStation, you can easily find it out. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Kamal. Yeah. So yeah, uh, moving to the next one. I One more thing that I've always noticed within Middle East specifically, and even Saudi a lot. So the substations are not open like other part of the world. Because one thing which I found, learned later on is that due to the harsh weather conditions, uh, the sandstorm, the extreme weather temperatures, the mm -hmm. company prefers the substations to be under a closed environment. Absolutely. So All right. can we use MicroStation for that or do you recommend using some other application? Especially uh, sure, for are... the substation design. Correct. So I would recommend open building designer because uh, when you're planning to construct a high voltage GI substation or an outdoor substation, we need to consider the essential facilities such as switch room or cable room, cooling tower, or any maintenance access accessibility, et cetera. So we recommend that BIM for building can be implemented to create a detailed digital model of the entire facility. So this helps reducing the errors in the design and construction phases. That also includes cost estimation, facility management, and more, right? So let me quickly demonstrate with a few of uh, the slides, actually. So Open Building Designer is Bentley's one-stop solution for building design. It combines four building engineering disciplines in one application. It is not just about architecture, but also includes tools for structural, mechanical, electrical uh, engineering system, and the data rich models can be shared by industry standard exchange formats for construction planning and facility operations as well. So open building designer uh, also provides integration with microstation and then class detection integrates with view rendering and then generative components and conceptual uh, modeling as well. So one of the most important part of open building design is that it has the capability of federated workflow. So this is a workflow where uh, different designers can work on a different part of a project and then combine them all into one uh, master project. So which will have all the design and BIM data in it. So as you can see here, we have the wall and then roof and then columns, HVAC, electrical and everything, right? And we can easily uh, create a sheet layout from the 3D model using MicroStation or Open Building Designer. Kamal, this is MicroStation technology, correct? Absolutely. Yeah. I think so if you have MicroStation, you can able to create the sheet layout. You can create a dynamic sheet layout, yes. Yeah, I think it's important to, 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 to tell potential interested prospects that uh, yeah. You can still model with MicroStation, but yeah. as soon as you need to design a, a BIM model out of yes. or create a BIM model out of that, you need to switch to Open Buildings Designer to get all the intelligence inside of the building. But the drawing Correct. techniques, how to extract uh, designs, layouts, and so on, this is again yeah. MicroStation. So it yeah. all is connected with each other. MicroStation is always part of Open Buildings. So. Oh, using correct. open buildings doesn't exclude using microstation. That's what I just exactly. wanted to highlight when I see that. That's correct. Uh, may I continue this, Azar, because I have a few more things that we can even export your model uh, to provide a stunning visualization. Uh, may yeah, I, I mean, just continue with that? Yeah, yeah you can, sure, you sure, can, sure. we can show that. Of course, thank you, thank you, Azar. Is, sure. Yeah. sure. So, uh, so Bentley acquired one of the product called Lumen RT from Eon Softwares, where most of the 3D animation movies were created by, like Avatar, Kung Fu Panda, Star Wars, etc. I think all of us have so, seen that movie. Yeah. And we have integrated with uh, the Lumen RT with our design modeling applications. So the same substation model has been exported from MicroStation or Open Building Designer to Lumen RT. And here we can add people, vehicles, plants, changing the weather, et cetera. 
as you can see that it just uh, has like 12 or 10 pallets over here you can simply adjust it and you no need to worry about the geolocation because your model you already uh, placed in the uh, geographic coordinate system the exact uh, location and once you export it it goes and sits exactly uh, with the luminati actually so that you can set your date time and location uh, date and time that's it Okay, yeah. Yeah, and uh, when we export the model from MicroStation or Open Building Designer, so it exports everything, including the geometry, layers, material, etc. And if you like to change the material, just need to uh, double click on it and that's it. So you'll find, uh, yeah, the materials over here. You can see that when I click here, it says the layer is this. And if I want to just randomly place some plants, you just need to select and there are different methods to place it. Either you want to just place it as a long element. And there is a huge library where you can insert uh, vehicle objects, right? People. So once you insert the vehicle, you just need to place the path and play. You can also add a, a noise to it. So if you want like ambulance or some emergency you can have uh, the noise as well but for that you need the full version of luminati correct yeah when you have yeah when you have when you need uh, you know unlimited access to placing the uh, you know people or weather change and everything the so libraries need, yeah yeah mm -hmm. for the libraries especially yeah Yeah, this is interesting here. Yeah. Thank you, Azar. So no, is there yeah. any more so, questions? So, Yes, I have because during my discussion with uh, Basel, one more thing is that uh, SAC uses the project-wise command within MicroStation. So I know they yeah. use EDMS a lot. So I mean, if you Correct. could just share some details on that, that would be interesting for the people to understand on how does the EDMS platform work with MicroStation as well? Definitely, Azar, I would love, I would love to um, you know, uh, share this with you. See, Saudi Electricity Company was a winner of the Be Inspired Award in 2012, actually. So this award typically acknowledges outstanding projects that leverage Bentley system software solutions to achieve remarkable results in the utility sector. So they have established a kingdom-wide EDMS, which is project-wise design integration with MicroStation as a standard CAD application. So I'll just uh, like to have a few more slides over here. So as you can see here, um, Saudi Electricity Company uh, access their project data through project wise. So they have folder structure with access control, like who can edit and view the documents as it is a simple interface like Windows Explorer. So any Windows user can easily understand it. So it also uh, has an audit trial to know who, what, and when. So it's a very simple that interface. Is, yeah, yeah, that is important as well. Correct. And uh, no matter the location or a file format, the project wise supports uh, all file types, including the BIM models, CAD model, and PDF, Microsoft Office documents, etc. So it, it it also integrates with Bentley, Autodesk, S3, and other applications such as uh, Microsoft Office and Adobe, etc. So here you can see the project-wise inter design integration software helps connect people and information across geographically distributed teams uh, to manage, find, and share project data and business documents. So it helps to maintain standard naming convention, uh, revision control, define workflow, security and access control to define who can view and edit project content, audit trial to see who, when, and what, advanced search of your documents, and that is application integration, team collaboration, 2D and 3D design review. You can also enable digital markups and signatures within PDFs managed by the project wise. And also it includes ISO 19650 BIM complaint template and there are still a lot of benefits over here. 
and everything is integrated uh, with microstation you don't have to do yes, anything manually course, on yeah. this yeah yeah so yeah that is good thank, thank you so much thank you so, uh, tamal, God, thank tamal we have a question from the audience uh if you yeah can please mind. Yeah. Uh, Harold David Talakotur, I hope I speak, I pronounce that stuff name properly. He asked, what is the difference of speciality while comparing to other CAD software for doing the same job? Okay. So, first of all, I would like to um, um, show you about this DGN file format, which is, uh, has proven to be a reliable over the years. So mainly the owner operators benefits from it since they can maintain their assets and keep track uh, of their asset as bills for operation and maintenance, right? So you can see here, uh, there is a DGN file format. I'm just opening now. So this is the uh, mic uh, micro station version five actually, right? So this was released in <laughs> 1994. And this version was demonstrated uh, during Bill Gates' introduction for Windows NT. The, fame, the same file format I have accessed in the latest micro session 2023. That means access means you opened it without yeah, any conversion. Yeah, just open it needed. without any conversion. So the micro station DGN file format has changed only once in the year 2000 and you know that we don't have any plans on changing it soon. So we can also customize a lot of things with micro station uh, to automate and the learning curve will be lesser. And also micro station includes all the built-in commands, right? So when you click on one command, so you have all the uh, built-in options within the dialog box. Mm -hmm. So that can reduce the drafting time to half. Any more questions? Uh, yeah, I would say uh, Harrison, just in case that didn't answer all your um, all your questions, um, just send us a note and then we will share the answers afterwards with you. Sure, sure. Okay. yeah. Yeah, we can help them with that, definitely. So, so Azar, just... um, do you want to conclude? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so thank you, Kamal. So there were certain more topics that we were planning to discuss with Engineer Basel, but uh, hopefully we'll schedule another session with him so that you yeah. can he can share his own personal experience on it. So for yeah. all our prospects and interested people, we have Cyber Week going on with Virtuosity, which is Bentley's e-commerce platform. We have flat 20% discount on MicroStation and other Bentley application. The offer is valid until Friday. So visit uh, virtuosity.com to check out MicroStation and avail the 20% offer to for your current subscription. And also, because of the previous last session, a lot of companies reached out to us trying to upgrade to MicroStation. We have had a lot of good cases with us. Certain channels, especially from the contracting companies in the ecosystem of these owner operators, so we plan to extend the offer on the switch campaign. So just to quickly brief it exactly on what switch campaign is. Switch campaign is mm -hmm. technically you have a any CAD application that you're using right now, but you're also facing challenges to deliver drawings as per certain standards and you want a better CAD solution. You can reach out to us. We'll address your challenges, explain you how it can be sorted out with MicroStation and we help you upgrade. And when you upgrade, you get discount from our end so it could be a bundle offer that we offer or you can take individual licenses that is based on the volume that is being exchanged so you get 20 percent discount with the annual subscription licenses that is through virtuosity bentley e-store or if you are people who are engaged on a very long-term project and looking at a perpetual licenses option we also have 30 percent discount on perpetual as well the simplest way is to reach out to me and I will work with you, identify your challenges, give you a proper solution, and then we can give you a code which you can use it to redeem your switch offer. So for this year, we are done with the fireside session. I hopefully a lot of our users got to learn something new with this. We will very soon announce 
the next series of fire se sessions for 2024, but we have Advent Fire Series coming in. So yes. us as a MicroStation team, we'll be hosting three sessions, summarizing on what was done with MicroStation, what is new, what were the success stories, what worked well, what were the main benefits that a lot of our users used and shared it with us. So stay tuned, we'll be posting it through LinkedIn and you can attend live simplest. I mean, you could just have to attend through one of the, you don't have to, if the record sessions will be available. So it's if it doesn't suit your availability, you can always look at later. So we we'll, uh, we have already, I mean, shared the agenda for the upcoming advent series. So make sure to follow that and join us for the next series. And also, I would request you to come out to me, share your challenges or some topics or even a success story of your project that you have worked with MicroStation and you would like to share some benefits with us. Feel free to share out with us and we'll make sure that you can be our next guest speaker with the next Fireside Session series. All right. So thank you, Kamal. Thank you, Nanette. Thank you, Azar. And thank you, Nanette. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, everyone. Um, see you soon and happy Advent. That's exactly. Advent, uh, yeah, how do you call that? Uh, the, the, the season, Advent season, sorry. I'm, Advent I'm totally season, confused yeah. for that season. <laughs> <laughs> Happy oh, Advent exactly. season, and we'll see you next week for all that yeah. are interested in learning more uh, or deepen their knowledge about microstation and so on. Thanks, Kamal, for, for Thank showing you, us all this interesting detail. Thanks, thanks Azar, for guiding us through the through the topics and yeah, let's see you soon. Thanks. Bye -bye. All right. Thank, Thank you, you everyone. See you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you then.